Yeah, there could have just been another person. Apparently, there's a lot of bad shit on Cape Cod. Here's a shot of her grave. Oh. Uh, the very, very plain marker that basically just says we don't we don't know who she is. She's laid to rest here. I wish and, somebody like more poetic would have come up with something a little nicer, like unknown yeah. angel or something. That's not. I know, good, but you know what I but, mean. Yeah. Yeah. It's so it's a, you know what the saddest thing is, is that there was not a family member looking right. for her. So this right. is probably someone that maybe didn't have a good upbringing and they just exited out of it for themselves and they were taking care of themselves. They're on the road by themselves. This independent woman, she's going to yeah. do it. But it's it's tough out there. And you, you're is. really vulnerable when you are alone. You're very vulnerable when you're alone. Yeah. And when um, when uh, Stephen King's son had made that connection, like I was just in love with it. Because when you see her with the woman walking in the clip with her blue bandana and her blue outfit on, you're like, that's her. Like you get the same vibe he must have gotten when he saw it. He's like, and you know what he said? I think he said that he saw that on an Unsolved Mysteries and he was just watching Jaws with his kids because it's one of his favorite movies. And when when she walked by, it was just like he had just seen the Unsolved Mysteries. It just clicked. He's like, that's her. How come nobody else has has that's her guys. Come on. Find her. She's right there. <laughs> and the thing is, is that's a pretty public story that he said that. Yeah. So if that woman is still alive or family members are still alive that was in yeah. the Jaws movie, I mean, wouldn't that they have come forward and said, no, that's my Aunt Susan. You know, she just right. passed away last year. God rest her soul. Or whatever, something like that. But nobody came forward and go, no, that's me, dummy. Yeah. I mean, look, even if I was, if I, even if I was in a movie for five seconds, that would be posted everywhere. You would know it. It would be, it will be on my tombstone. It would be on my social media. Chris was in Jaws for two seconds. That's right. <laughs> that I had <laughs> be a pretty epic movie. If you were like, and I can't even think of one, but like not a great movie, maybe you no, wouldn't necessarily like, no, I didn't. Never mind. No, no. I wasn't there, but I wasn't in Garfield, the return. No, no, no. <laughs> I appreciate Garfield. Don't knock <laughs> I like the one. Well, Bill Murray does have to do all of the voices because he's he's under contract. He can't get out of it. So I'm a Garfield fan as well. Right. 